Namaste everybody. A very warm welcome to all of you. So we'll be starting the Unify Gut Health course from tomorrow. It will be on, during the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm just going to give the brief introduction about the course, how it will be, what all the topics we'll be covering so that you'll get an idea. So all the information I'll be providing here is just for knowledge and information and it's not any kind of consultation or medical advice. It's purely about, out of my own experience that whatever I'll be sharing. So basically I have a science background with horticulture, biotechnology, agribusiness management and I have learned a lot about the five elements in association with the Unify Shakti Foundation. And I've been volunteering in the foundation for the past 14 years. Apart from that, I have done many courses in Ayurveda, naturopathy, then integrated wellness, yoga for digestive health specifically from Vyasa in LA, and stress management techniques, sound healing. And so I have implemented all these various things in my lifestyle and diet, etc. So I'll be sharing all those during this course. So when I was sick with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, IBS, all the digestive issues I had because of the dysbiosis, disturbed digestive system. And I was looking like you can see the above picture. And after following Unify Panchabhuta therapy, using the five elements, so the healing happened and you can see the recovery. So Unify Gut Health, what we mean is not just about the digestive system alone, because the gut is connected to our entire body. So our gut has gut microbiome. The microbes are present and they govern our whole functioning of our body, whether it is immune system, nervous system, hormone production, everything is controlled by them. So if we take care of the gut, our whole body can be healed. It can be any health issue. Everything can be corrected. So we are going to the re root of the disease. So not just superficially treating the symptoms, but we'll go to deeper level till the five elements in our body and that too we segregate them into our body, mind. In Unify Panchabhuta, we say our body is connected to five elements and the five elements, we actually distribute them as our body, mind, intelligence, awareness and consciousness. So till the root level we go and uh, do the healing. So it's very simple using the natural things available at home, very practical, natural and it is experiential. With my own experience, I'm sharing and it is applicable to everybody. So anybody can follow. So, and apart from the Unify things and uh, the learnings from Unify, I'm also going to be sharing the my personal experience with the other things I learned and whatever I have personally implemented them and got benefited. So all those things I'll be sharing during the course. So as I mentioned, in Unify, we connect the five fingers to five elements and the little finger is connected to earth, the ring finger to water, middle finger to fire, four finger to air and the thumb to space element. Okay, And also the earth is connected to body because it is very physical, right? The body is very physical. And earth also we can sense, we can touch. And it is very stable. But water, when we see, it is flowing, it moves. So our mind also has thoughts. And the thoughts keep changing. We get so many thoughts, right? And also, the water takes the shape of the container in which we keep. 
so it is like frequently changing it is never stable it doesn't have a for particular shape and so is our mind then we have the intelligence it is connected to the fire element because the fire gives that light and heat so in that fire light and heat we get to see we get to know things that's that's the knowledge that we get from the fire element and the air element is to the four finger so the index finger we point right i so that i the self awareness is the air element and the space is the entire consciousness because it encompasses everything it accommodates right the space element accommodates everybody and everything in the universe and so it's that unconditional love is the consciousness and that we connect to space element so some of the points to keep in mind while recovering from our health issues is we need to take our health in our own hands and the body itself has the capacity to heal and we just need to provide the right environment whatever it needs we need to provide externally and it recovers by itself and our body is a microbial body as i mentioned more than our human cells there are more microbial cells in our body and they do all the functioning within our system and also just don't believe anybody whoever suggests you you do your research contemplate implement and experience you yourself see the results and then we need to listen to our body how each action of ours impacts us like suppose if we eat today some heavy food how our stomach feels how our mind is the end of the day so if we take some lighter foods how energetic we feel so all those body itself will tell us even our mind we feel irritated sometimes so all those we get angry if we eat some spicy foods so we need to listen to our body and we need to be committed be flexible and not expect too much because the change cannot happen healing cannot happen within a day or a week because it needs some time also our mind won't be very ready to do very strictly you need to be like this instantly so give and give the body and mind time gradually you include all the new things that you are learning and be flexible and do things in a relaxed way at your own pace okay so the first session would be in the course the five element pattern of the universe as i have already discussed in short it's the five elements we connect to our body mind intelligence awareness and consciousness so we go to the root till the consciousness that we are not just body and we work on the consciousness level so the three gunas purusha prakriti purusha means actually what we follow in the panchabhuta five element pattern is the sankhya philosophy it is given by kapila maharshi so the universe is divided there as purusha and prakriti like the consciousness and awareness energy so what are three gunas because of the gunas sattva rajas and tamas they impact us so we will we will learn about the gunas we will go very deeply the first session will be like that how the evolution takes place and how our sense organs sense perceptions everything is connected to the five elements so whatever we see hear the touch so all those things impact us whatever we take the information it's not just the food we eat even if we see things it's all the food for our mind and body so everything impacts us so we'll be going to the root and understand what we are and how everything impacts us because externally also it's all the same five elements and within our body also it's only the five elements so when once we cut, get connected to the five elements automatically the healing happens so next session would be on diet which would be covering specifically to ayurvedic diet what i follow practically then fermented foods and lifestyle
so the diet important thing is not just the organic foods that is important we need to balance ourselves with the season the time of the day it's called like the dinacharya every time of the day specific activities have to be done our lifestyle should be connected to the external environment the seasons the diet should have six days the disturbances in our digestive fire due to modern lifestyle see nowadays because of the lifestyle we wake up so late the sun will be uh, rising at 6 o'clock and we'll wake up at 9 10 we even more it can be so and we uh, sleep very late late nights 12 1 also people sleep so all these things disturb our digestive system the microbial balance within our gut so we'll understand how we should behave during our a day how it should be the night because certain hormones are released and end of the day everything is done by the microbes right so they produce those hormones within our gut so the signaling happens from the digestive system so our digest the lifestyle needs to be corrected and also we need to feed the good bacteria within our body there are two types of bacteria good and bad so taking fermented foods will help us so that is like we are feeding them whatever is food for the live bacteria within us it's called prebiotics and if we take live bacteria as such like the curd it's the probiotic and parabiotic means when we cook those live bacteria like uh, we ferment idli batter dosa right so when we heat make idli or dosa or something we heat and make the uh, dishes with curd right uh, so those uh, korambu and all we say like but with buttermilk we cook with curd we cook they are all called like the dead bacteria but they are still helpful for us so they are called the parabiotics they are very soothing for our system they work like vaccines so in vaccines also we take dead uh, germs right like the virus and all they are not live there so we put them so that the we build the immunity so similarly the parabiotics work and then we connect to the biological clock also the stress how much the stress impacts us nowadays in our lifestyle stress has become very common from a small child they are talking about stress so techniques to relax and all those will be taught third session would be on the mind so the mind plays a great role on our body health of our body our emotions so if we are angry certain reactions take place within our body like if somebody says something to us we immediately react right the same reaction happens within our stomach there are more chemical reactions more acids produced and so they affect our own mucus membrane in the gut lining it is the stomach lining so so much they impact all the negative thoughts we get right the depressive thoughts or something against others thinking bad about others so all those feelings actually first affect us and then only they reach others so we need to correct our way of thinking and also we will touch on karma or actions how each action of us impact us our health and also uh, our future life also even if somebody doesn't believe in karma so every action has effect right so our actions our karmas whatever we do definitely they are going to affect us and we also understand that everything is energy it's uh, the science right energy science and it cannot be increased created or decreased like it cannot be destroyed or created but it only changes from one form to other form so to bring health that is to get the energy of health we transform the energy by doing some good actions doing some donations charity so we convert that energy and bring health to us the fourth session would cover gut microbiome and gut health with regard to 
ayurvedic perspective so in my in the science we say that microbiome takes the complete charge of our body in ayurveda they talk in a way like the vata vata the wind element plays the major role and it is majorly located in the large intestine area and the science also talks like the microbiome plays the great role and it is mostly present in the stomach and the large intestine place so that connection we will see it's just different language but everything is connected in ayurveda they say dinacharya morning uh, afternoon what all have to be done at night so same thing we will understand the ritucharya as per seasons how the gut microbiome changes with seasons so accordingly we should change our food as well like summer if we have mango winters we take the foods rich in vitamin c like amla oranges these are naturally available so there is a paper so recent one gut microbiome fluctuates throughout the day and across season even morning our microbiome will be different from what we have in the afternoon and night will be different so that's why in the nights we don't consume curd and all so we need to connect what time what has to be taken because we will be feeding literally the microbes present in our gut if we feed different if we suppose take curd in the night definitely we will be ending up with more kapha that is symptoms of cough cold will come so all these things we need to consider if we we don't consider then we will get these seasonal flu allergies skin allergies all those things so we will connect the microbiome with our lifestyle in an ayurvedic perspective next session would be on various digestive disorders that we all experience in some or the other way indigestion constipation acidity stomach ulcers the names are different if we go to the root because of our exposure to chemicals wrong lifestyle any time we do anything our digestion gets affected so that's the first step and so we end up in having indigestion problems and that creates gas formation bloating and that leads to constipation when there is more wind element in our body see we will be connecting to all the five elements only during our discussions because we are made of the five elements it's completely the panchabhuta therapy connected to five elements so the wind element brings constipation and so we end up with the constipation build up of more toxins within our system and that creates imbalance of the gut microbiome the balance between good bacteria and bad bacteria so when there is this dysbiosis there is imbalance of bacteria in the gut also the lining of our stomach because of our emotions chemical exposure the wrong processed foods that we take the gut lining gets affected there are more acids produced that brings acidity and that acidity when we don't correct it with our lifestyle or or taking proper diet and cleansing our body all those things it then leads to stomach ulcers and then if we don't address the stomach ulcers it again goes and takes severe form like ibs ibd leaky gut syndrome and even up to cancer see ibs is irritable bowel syndrome it gets irritated with uh, connected to mostly emotional whatever is our emotions our stomach is ge- getting impacted there it also causes ibd th- that is inflammatory bowel disease where there is inflammation constantly in our bowels that is small intestine and large intestine they just give different names now within ibd also it is divided as ulcerative colitis and crohn's depending on the place if it is in the colon it is colitis and if it is the small intestine in ileum place it is the crohn's and then this leads to what we call as leaky gut syndrome where the contents leak into the blood stream so all the unwanted bad bacteria the toxins released by them everything enters to our blood stream and then causes this leakage and more severe 
diseases we end up in so the gut issue is a vast thing and we need to address it in the be beginning itself correcting our diet and lifestyle and following all the five elements providing the body whatever it requires so we'll also see as the last session yoga pranayam and relaxation techniques that are specifically good for gut health yeah there ends my talk and so in panchabhuta therapy we have basically the cleansing first we clean our body then we put all the good bacteria we build beneficial bacteria then we consume lighter foods and we allow the digestive system digestive system to heal itself and then build the digestive strength provide right amount of water fire is the yoga and walking we do the air element is the pranayama and meditation relaxation is the space element and we also recommend to do the charity and service which come under the space element considering the consciousness like everybody as one feeling that oneness we do the service and that only when we do holistically considering everything doing all the five elements that brings immense health not only gut health but overall health any health issue thank you all please let me know if you have any questions nilima thank you so much that was a wonderful introduction uh, really learned uh, something insightful um, yeah. <laughs> yeah even the, the five sense organs right whatever uh, not only you just consume whatever you see is also a consumption mm -hmm. here also a consumption that's a yeah. good perspective uh, mm -hmm. thank you for that i am looking forward for the course sure welcome <laughs> thank you thank you